us. It is not completed yet, but a huge part of the income came from tithes. I told the people to increase their tithes, and their tithes will go into the building of the cathedral, and they did. We got more money from tithes than collection and harvest and bazaars. And we were able to put up our cathedral without one kobo coming from outside or from any big donor. Tithes are important, and so tithes will help us to complete our cathedral. Don't joke with it. And it is not a gift to the priest who said mass. Some people believe that when you give tithes, it's for the priest who said mass. No, that priest should know that the tithe is not his own. It is for the church, and it has to be accounted for. If you account for it, God knows. If you don't account for it, God knows. But know that in conscience, that tithe belongs to the church, and it must be accounted for. So, if you have not been practicing the giving of tithes, please, start it. It is important. And people have testified how giving of tithes has helped their life. I met a young man in the airport last week when we were coming from uh, Calabar with his eminence. And the man ran and ran, and he's not a Catholic, obviously. He said, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? The Lord told me to do something. I said, but what? He said, what do you want? You want a new phone? You want this? You want that? You want money? What is your account number? And so I said, ah. I said, calm down. Did, did the Lord not tell you what to give me? So eventually I realized that he is somebody perhaps who had got some money and he felt that he must share this money for the work of the church. And that was why he was eager to give me. And he did. He's not a Catholic. But he said the Lord just showed, him, showed me to him. As I came down from the plane, he saw me and said, this is the one I will give my tithe to. And he did. He sent me the sum of 200,000 Naira. I have never known him. I have never met him. So you see how people know that it is important to give because the, the benefits are immense. So please take note. The projects we have already mentioned, the diocesan secretariat is to be taken by Holy Trinity Parish Maitama, a big secretariat that will accommodate all of us in the archdiocese the next five years. Maitama, take note. Holy Family Parish, Life Camp, Cathedral um, Rectory, where the priests will stay and take care of the cathedral. Archbishop's residence in the papal ground, pro cathedral, they are the ones to do that. Sikh priests and retirement home, the Catholic Bankers Association of Nigeria have offered to do that. Resource center by Assumption Parish of Sokoro. The Pope John Paul Center will be doing something. They will get to know what they have to do. Fencing of Papal Ground, Holy Parish, Holy Rosary Parish, we'll say, the whole ground. We don't want people to encroach. Spiritual Year Seminary, 12 Apostles Parish, Catechetical Institute, Holy Cross Parish, Guarimpa, Medium Clinic by CKC Parish, Kubwa. Improvement of Minor Seminary by S.S. Peter and Paul Parish Nyanya. Block Industry by St. Luke's Parish Kubwa. If we are to build all this, we need blocks. So we need to do our own blocks. So Kubwa, make sure you produce all the blocks the diocese needs. Printing Press, St. Mary's Parish Karu. These are the 12 projects, but the cathedral is for everyone. Those not assigned this, will collect their money to this special account, into this special account, and then that is what we shall use to continue the building of our cathedral. Nobody is exempted, even the pastoral areas. Even if you get 100 naira divided into three, if you get 1,000 divided into three, and don't delay, because I have accountants that will be checking the bank accounts every day, every day, to ensure that this is being complied with. And then, finally, is it finally? Let me see. Yeah. Um, I want to also beg 
that these projects are not just for us. All of us are involved. The religious congregations in this archdiocese, there are many, and more are coming, more are coming. You, you are also to be involved in this. Not just to say we came to do medical work or education and that is the end. No, you are also part of the archdiocese to build together with us. Remember, I have had a meeting with you, with your superiors, and I told you, even though it's not good news for you, it's not comfortable news, you said you have been here for how many years? They have never asked you. But I asked the cardinal to come, and the cardinal came and told you that it is normal that you contribute to the development of the archdiocese. And I have it in writing. Cardinal Ekandem, in point five of his policy for allowing religious to come into the archdiocese, made it clear. Projects of financial profits in the jurisdiction, whether schools, hospitals, uh, maturing, uh, manufacturing things, shops, large poultry, agriculture, would be expected to give some subsidy for the upkeep of the diocese. That can easily be determined from time to time by agreement. In the event of a board being formed to manage the project, the ordinary would be expected to be represented. That was what Cardinal Ekandem said before he allowed religious congregations to come into the archdiocese. Now, some congregations have been here for 20 years, 25 years, and so on. We are asking that this should start. And why? Cardinal Ekandem Onaikan, when we called him to a meeting, he also wrote out something, and I read. In point six of what he told the religious superior, he says, there are many projects of various institutes in the archdiocese which have received my approval. But so far, I have not engaged them in any serious way about necessary financial support for the archdiocese in form of legal taxes in proportion to their profits. The canon law allows the archdiocese to tax every religious congregation that operates any venture that brings income. And the cardinal said he didn't do that. He said, so far, all I have been receiving are occasional free will donations and stipends and contributions to archdiocese and fundraising events. And he goes on to say that most of these um, projects are now well established and are making some bit of profit, profit and should make adequate payments to the coffers of the archdiocese. These are the words of Cardinal Onaikan. He's seated here. I quoted him verbatim et literatim. So, it's not new. When the new Archbishop Abuja is telling the religious congregations, let us do this, there is 5% for school, there is this, we have to sit and negotiate what you are doing, if it is raising any profit, why, how can the Archdiocese benefit? It's not me. It's not new. It's in canon law. And my predecessors had it in mind. It's just that it was not applied. Now is my time to apply. It's my turn now, Abi. <laughs> anyway, we shall incorporate all this in the MOUs and contracts that will soon be done so that we understand ourselves better. And, and I'm finishing. Please, the newspaper we have and the Catholic television, they are not meant to compete with the secular uh, media. They are meant to supply information to us. But I am so shocked and sad sometimes when I see them carrying Good Shepherd and somebody will say, no, 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 no. So, and there are very few copies. In fact, if we are to produce these, we, we can produce more than 10,000 and they will be taken up. But um, they will produce a few hundreds and people are not ready. They say, it's not like the other papers. For God's sake, this is part of your evangelization. That paper contains news of evangelization, news of the church in Abuja, news of spiritual development. But you are saying no, you don't want to buy it. But you won't buy Punch, Vanguard, and all those. 
It is not really. And so say, oh, it is not as interesting as the others. How do you want the word of God to be interesting? Buy it and see what is going on and identify with it. The same with the Catholic television. Up to now, some people don't have the decoder. I have been to houses. They don't have an idea of what the Catholic television is all about. Only very few. I have been to houses. Some people don't know about the Good Shepherd. They don't have an idea. Even houses of religious congregations, parishes, societies, they don't have an idea of what is going on. They don't know what is going on. And everything we do is contained in those papers and TV. Please, the Good Shepherd should be in every Catholic's hands. Even if you don't know what is there, just have it and know what is going on in the Archdiocese. It is so important. Please, we should print more Good Shepherd and people should acquire them every week by one, every week. I intend to meet with groups, professional groups like lawyers, architects, doctors, property agents, land. We have talented people among us and we need to use them. I told you we are not as rich as people say. We have plenty of money in the bank. No, our richness is what you bring, your talents and all your expertise. So we are going to meet them and see how they can help us so that whatever we are doing will be at minimal cost. And then the priest, I told you you are Levites. The Levites were exempted from doing any secular occupation among the 12 tribes. They were to be exempted from any business. So priests are not business people. They are not expected to engage in any occupation other than the priesthood to bless people, to, to pray for them and all that, to counsel them. So we are not expected to be involved in any worldly pursuits. So whatever you can do to help us as priests and make life better so that we don't have to be pursuing secular business like you. You have a taxi, I have a taxi. You have a shop, I have a shop. You have a chemist, I have a pharmacy. We are competing, that is not allowed. Please help us in a way that we don't have to worry about getting things by the side. Priests, okay. When they are bring, uh, when priests are sprinkling people with holy water, please, I beg, use the sprinkler. This uh, sprinkler, not this pump action. There is, there is one. You just pia, pia, pia. No. Please, use the sprinkler. That is like the rain, asparagus, like the rain that is falling upon the people. Yes. Please, we ban the, uh, the, the pump action. We ban, we ban it from today. We ban it. Get the sprinkler and do it that way. And when you are bringing offertory gifts, like today I saw, the ciborium was well covered with the ciborium cover. Very good. But some just bring it naked. The chalice is naked, the ciborium is naked, everything is naked. No, there is decorum. Bring them in the proper way. Have this ciborium cover and everything should be done well. Confirmation. When we go for confirmation, like I told you, I confirm 300, sometimes 500. Every candidate should have a sponsor. Unfortunately, because they are used to say, no, only one man and one woman will stand for the whole 500 people. How will somebody mentor 500 people? The idea of a sponsor is that you are there to accompany the candidates, to encourage them, to support them spiritually, and even to help them in life. So for confirmation, before I go to your parish, have your candidates prepared, and they must have sponsors who are Catholics, good Catholics, sacramental Catholics. And then when I send out information from the chancery, it doesn't have to be my name. The chancellor can write on my behalf or those that I have authorized. Please announce them properly in the church. Like I asked somebody today, what time is mass here? in this church, the Christmas, the person told me, they were told that it's nine o'clock. 
But I know that we were told it's 10 o'clock. Why is it that your own is 9 o'clock? So please, let's communicate announcements correctly. And when there is a special announcement or something that affects room, like pontifical mission collections, let the priest explain to the people clearly what we are doing. This collection is for children. It is taken to the Pope. This collection is Peter Spence. That is what the Pope uses to travel to Rwanda, to Tanzania, to travel, to do many things, to maintain very many places that they have presence and so on. So explain properly to the people. And not somebody to come over and say, today is second collection, mandatory collection, PMS, choir, oh yeah. That does not explain anything. What is PMS? What is it for? If it is Peter Spence, the priest should explain to the people the essence of this. So please, take the announcement seriously. And finally, thank you for your generosity. You have been a wonderful people, a generous people, a godly people, a wonderful people. May God bless you and bless you and bless you again. Okay, let us conclude our Mass. Dominus Vobiscum. Sit nomen Domini Benedictum. Hoc nun etnus quae in seculo. Adjutorum nostrum in nomine Domini. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus.